Hey, y'all, this is about the okay. Hey, y'all, this is about Doctor Who. I did the first two episodes in a video entitled Doctor Who, you know, because I figured the second episode was like Death Race, and everybody recently has seen Death Race, and it's like Death Race meets Doctor Who, and did a combination of those first two episodes. But this episode is number three of the season, and it's going to be called Rosa. That's well, that's what I call it, you know, about Rosa Parks in America in 1955. That's where they go. And there's this alien guy who shows up at the same time. You know, he was in some kind of prison, and he has a time displacement unit so that he can uh, disrupt Rosa Parks from doing the sit-in at the bus where she sits in to where there, there's a white seat, and then she gets arrested, and that uh, starts off the civil rights movement, right? That was the whole gist of it. His job was to stop her. He wasn't going to kill her because he wasn't allowed to. Because right, he had little neurons in his brain, you know, so um, he, uh, they ended up stopping him, and everything was fine and dandy, and that was all cool and good, you know, Doctor didn't harm nobody or nothing, but there's only one problem I had with the whole entire episode, the overdrawn southern accents, the overdrawn southern accents, and the, hey boy, you gonna, you, you just get out of here, you hear, kind of like that, you know, what, what you hear in like all the all the southern movies is overdrawn howdy y'all my name is Tex from Texas I need some tea kind of like that that kind of bothered me a little bit Rosa the person who did Rosa did fine I think you know because she was acting like a southern woman would you know back then back in them days um, but most of it just the so the people who did the southern accents, some of it was good and some of it got overdrawn. It's like they were good at some parts and they were bad at the other parts. But you know they were trying. So, but I really wish, like, British people could get the southern accent down. I think they all need to go to Gary Oldman, because in case you guys don't know, Gary Oldman is like the best character actor on the damn planet. You know he he did uh. Fifth Element, and he played Emmanuel Batiste Dorg, and he did a perfect southern accent. I thought he was from the south. I didn't even know he was British okay, at that time. So they all need to go to him and learn from him. That son of a bitch can act. All right? So, um, Gary Oldman, you know, the white guy, not the, not the little, not the, uh, not the one from Good Times, but the British guy. Okay. Um, other than that, the Doctor Who episode was fine. I mean, they still got to find a way to hit their stride a little bit. You know, they'll find their way, though. At least they got the TARDIS back in it. So, that's a good thing. And the screwdriver's fixed. The screwdriver. Um, oh, God, I... What? I was just told by a Whovian what the freaking thing is. What the actual name is. And I just keep forgetting about it. The little screwdriver that she has. It's not like she's got her actual screwdriver back. It's not a mangled piece of metal anymore. All right, y'all. Well, this is uh, Crazy Dave. I'm going to be signing out, and that was my review of that episode. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Maybe I'll do a five-stroke rule for y'all or something. All right, love y'all. Bye-bye.